In this video, I'll walk you through the install process for R, RStudio, and Radiant on Windows. So right here, we're on the install page that has all the information and this video that you're now watching. If you're wondering how you would get here, you can just use Google and type in Radiant RStats install. And that will take you straight to the Radiant install page. Now, what you see here is that it says for Windows, download and run the all-in-one installer. So again, this is just a, an executable. You download it just clicking here on the link and Windows starts downloading it. And once it's done with the download, I uh, will open that, uh, run it as administrator, and that will take care of the remaining steps. Okay, it looks like the install is uh, the download is complete. So let's go ahead and show in folder. There it is. So I'm going to right click on this and run it as administrator. All right. Now it says that there might be an issue. This is absolutely not the case. This is created by our own Rady IT. So what we're going to do here is click on more info and then run anyway. You should see that here, a little uh, icon popped up. It says, do you want to allow this app to uh, make changes? Yes. And there we go. So what this again is going to do, it's going to install R. It's going to install R Studio, Radiant and also a zip and unzip utility, which can be convenient. So let's go ahead and click on next and then click on install. And that will start the process of installing R. So it's completed the install of R, uh, and it's now going to install R Studio. If you're wondering what the difference is between the two, R is the programming language. R Studio is the IDE, Integrated Development Environment. So this is an application in which you could write R code if you were so inclined. Uh, but it also has some nice features that makes it easy to launch Radiant directly from the application R Studio. So it looks like nothing's happening, but there's actually some install process going on in the background. And just wait a sec until that's been completed. All right, so RStudio was now installed. You'll see this black window come up. This is a terminal. And in this terminal, we'll go into the last phase of the install process, which is installing the Radiant packages and R packages that Radiant depends on. So this will take a second to get started. And once it does, the rest of the process will just be automatic. Or just uh, another black window come up, which is again another terminal. And here it's going to install a tool called LaTeX or LaTeX, which will allow you to generate uh, PDF files, uh, PowerPoint reports, Word reports, and so on. So it's downloading the application called TinyTech, which is a relatively speaking small version of that. Um, and so we'll just let that run, and then we'll almost be complete. Right, and so I'm going to ask you if you want to restall your computer. So let's go ahead and do that. All 
and we're back and you'll see that a couple new things were added to my desktop I don't actually need this one so I'm going to go ahead and right click just go ahead and remove that so let's go ahead and open up our studio All right. It's up to you if you, you know, if there's ever a crash, if you want to report that or not. I'm just going to say no here, but it doesn't really matter. What I really care about is this add-ins dropdown. Okay, so if you click on that, what you should see is an option to start Radiant. It also has options to update Radiant, uh, and we'll get to that in some point in the future. Uh, but the main thing you want to be able to do from this, again, add-ins menu, click on that, you'll see start Radiant. And all that really does is run this command inside of the console, the R console. So it'll take a second uh, and then it's going to start up Radiant in your default browser. All right, now this is the home screen. Uh, we are in data manage. And so this is where we can load and save different data files. Uh, there's lots of other pieces to this application, but we'll get into those in the future. Uh, but this looks like everything the install was correct. In fact, if you see this, the Diamonds data set, you'll know that you have completed the install process for R, RStudio, and Radiant. So go ahead and stop the application by clicking on this power icon, and then stop. And then we'll be back inside RStudio. We can close out RStudio as well. Uh, do not save the workspace image. No need to do that. And we have completed the install.